So welcome everybody. My name is Sean Wildermuth. I'm going to be uh, showing you a bit about debugging Windows phone applications using the device. Now, you've probably seen there's a lot of Im information out there on the web about actually writing phone, um, apps for the web. And if you uh, take a look at my upcoming book, I'm going to have some rough cuts of the chapters coming out. Um, this little video is really going to focus on the ability to use the phone to debug directly on the device. So I'm starting with an application I'm writing called Moon Phaser that just is going to show the current phase of the moon and do some um, interaction with swiping. So as you swipe back and forth, it's going to change the date and show you the new moon phase. What I want to do in here is every time we go to the moon phase, I will, um, it's going to calculate a little animation to go to the next phase of the moon. So let's just run the application and show it on the phone. Let me get my uh, secondary camera here set up so that I'll be able to show you in a little window what's actually happening. And I'm going to go ahead and press F5 to run our application. And you'll see it's going to deploy to the device and the application is going to show the page and then finally our application. And our application as we swipe is changing the date. If I can get the swipes working right. And we can see that the moon phase is changing as the dates are changing. And the way I've set this up is it also will work in landscape mode, and so it switches back and forth for us. But something may be going wrong with this application, so I want to actually set a breakpoint. So I'm going to use F9 to set a breakpoint. And let me do a swipe again over here on the device. And when we do the swipe, we can see we come into the application can walk through. Let's see, the progress is going to be about 90% um, into the moon phase, if I have that number right, and then I'm going to go ahead and seek it so we can press OK. So we can actually stop in Visual Studio while we're working on the phone directly, and that's the really cool part. So once you get your uh, phone, you can see that the experience, and actually the speed of this experience, is pretty much the same as the emulator. I find the emulator a bit easier to work with while I'm working on things um, day to day, but being able to debug on the phone when maybe things are working a little differently or you want to really see how it's working with the full version of the OS and speed and that sort of thing becomes pretty important. Well, that's all. Enjoy your Windows Phone 7 experience and hopefully you'll be getting your own device soon too.